Hello everyone, and welcome to Abandoned Ship. This is an indie game developed by Fireblade Software. It's an early access, as you can see from all the stuff at the bottom here. Uh, it is a... I don't know if you're a pirate or not, but I love the music so far. Um, but you're... A captain, you're, you control the whole crew on a uh, seafaring ship. Um, and I think you're the captain, because if you're if the captain dies, then the whole game ends, I think. That's what I got from the trailers. But it seems interesting, so... Again, if this is an impressions uh, look. So, if, if it's... If I don't get into everything, it'll be a three-parter. If I can get into it, most of the stuff, it'll be a one-part video. So let's go ahead and get started and see what I can get done. Profiles. Start new. My uh, new game name... Let's just keep it with my adventure. Uh, tutorials on, yes. Difficulty... What difficulties are? Easy, normal, and hard. Let's keep it on normal. Uh, difficulty reward... Uh, Difficulty affects the rewards you receive from events, including combat. Easy difficulty provides a bonus. In hard difficulty, a penalty is given. Normal difficulty has neither a bonus or, nor, a pel nor a penalty. Player generated names. By signing up to a Bandship newsletter, I've done that. My player name will hopefully be on there. World Seed, that long string of numbers. Let's get this started. The uh, Wild Chorus, the birth of a monster. In that moment, the final strand is cut. A burst of clarity. The horror of your recent existence dawns upon you. Escape is all you can think of. The tentacles flail wildly in the water. People drop to their knees, some through fear, others with adulation. Their god is manifest. You watch from your position of privilege on a private balcony. You notice your two bodyguards, quote-unquote, are distracted and enraptured. Strike them down. Flee this accursed place. Instinctively grabbing something, you smash it down on the head of the first guard. Shock surprised. Shock surprise registers on the second before he's too. He too is down. You are unsure whether they are dead or unconscious. You feel a drip from your fingers. You look down at your improvised weapon. A small idol of father it is cracked and has and has cut your hand. You are drifting, but something inside snaps you back to reality. You have to move fast. The cells offer the safest route for, to freedom. Flee! You stride into the prison with feigned authority. No matter, the, pl uh, the place is unguarded in our no-there moment of triumph. Escaping alone will be futile. So you grab the keys from the guard room and approach the prisoners. Who will you unlock first? I'm guessing this will be my first mate or something like that. Severed one. Is that me? Am I the severed one? Uh, unlock Bearded Zombie, Leon, Ald... I'm guessing these are all player names. Solo. Uh, the Sailor Repairs Ship fa at a faster rate. I like that. Uh, Surgeon, Marine, Melee Fighter, Gunner. I have a feeling we're going to be fleeing from a lot of things, so I'm going to go with the Repair. Plus, Solo. Han Solo. I'm a Star Wars fan. I can't resist. Oh, I, I unlocked more than one. Uh, gunner, navigator. Let's do gunner, and then the navigator. Oh, uh, the noise must have ra ha must have raised suspicion by now. Hurry and bestow freedom on one more prisoner. The navigator. Continue. You and your new companion surge through the labyrinthine passage. Finally, a door a door a light seeps in through the cracks in the frame. Burst through the door. You close your eyes for a moment as the sea as a sea breeze fr brushes your face. Looking down in the wind winding path ahead, you see what you hope you had hoped for, a ship at, at anchor. It, is, it was likely stolen and repurposed by the cult. Time to put it to better use. Select crew. Select the crew member by left-clicking them. When selected, they have an orange outline. So me first, obviously. Move the crew by right-clicking. If you right-click somewhere on the deck of the ship, that person will be cl will climb on board. So obviously right there. Now move all the crew to the ship. Remember that you left-click and select right, uh, and right-click to give the move the order. To give the move order. You can also left-click drag to a box like a multiple crew. So like a 
RTS or turn based strategy. Cut the ropes. Cut the rope. Well, first, let's have you go to the cannons. Um, select a crew member, right click where they, the ropes are attached to shit. You go that one, you go that one. Now man the ship's wheel to make good your escape. Select a crew member and right click on the ship's wheel. I already did that. Okay, there we go. And we're off. Oh yeah, there are monsters in this game, like the Kraken and all that stuff. Dozens of furious cultists charge the jetty as you pull away, a high priest at their head. His scream reaches your ears and drips with scorn. Heed me, betrayer. Our father knows and sees you always. You will never escape his embrace. As he speaks, the other cultists disperse, no doubt to begin their pursuit on their own vessels. They'll be sending the ships after us. Let's get out of here. The coastal fortifications open fire on the ship as it leaves the jetty. Mortar shells incoming. So as I thought, we need the repair guy. Oh my good! Oh god, he's already down. I should have gotten the surgeon. A mortar shell has reduced a crew member to zero health. When this happens, you have a short time to stabilize them. When a crew member is stabilized, they will remain unconscious throughout the battle, but will survive. If you do not stabilize them in time, they will die. But don't miss... But don't worry, in this one instance, we will freeze the bar before it runs out. Alright, select a standing, any standing crew member by left-clicking them. Hover the mouse cursor over the incapacitated crew member and right-click. This will send them to stabilize their incapacitated colleague. Note that the surgeons will stabilize much faster than a fellow crew. Stabilize that man, deckhand! It's not working too slow. I'm sure in the heat of a battle it would be slow though. The barrage has damaged the ship hull. In the bottom left of the screen is a bar that shows the hull health. If the bar is emptied, then the ship will sink. The ship is divided into sections. In the bottom right, the sections and their individual health are, are displayed. Section health is influenced by influences the performance of everything in that section. Yellow health means it is 50% effective. Red health means it won't function at all. Your crew can repair a ship section. Select a crew member and move the mouse cursor to, into the circled area. When the mouse cursor turns into a hammer icon, right click it will send the crew to repair. Repairs will, all, will go faster if more crew are repairing. Let's get you to repair as well. Healing crew. The barrage also injured one of the crew. Crew health can be seen around the icon above their head. You can heal crew by sending them to the sick bay medical table. So that's you then. Is he healing? Okay, yeah, he's healing. It was go I was it was going the opposite direction I thought of. You go back on the cannons. It's not over yet. Take cover. Oh boy, more mortars. Ah. <laughs> We've been hit by a weapon that causes hull cracks. These splinter the deck and make the ship take on water. There is a water gauge above the hull, uh, above the hull health. If it reaches the top, the the ship will sink. Okay, so it's going from left to right. Listen out for ship bell. This will warn you when your water gauge has reached critical levels. The bell will also sound when your hull is da dangerously low. Act decisively when you hear the bell or you may sink. You can tell your crew to repair hull cracks. With the uh, crew members selected, right click on the hull crack to repair it. You get that one and you get that one. It's filling up pretty fast, in a way. Uh, you can lower the water level by manning the pumps at the back of the ship. Select a crew member and right-click on the water pump to man it. Keeping, keep pumping until the water gauge is empty. You go on that one, and you go on that one. Okay, so... Okay, that goes down a lot faster.
We're nearly out of range. One more barrage incoming. Fire! We've been struck by a weapon with flaming ammunition and a, and a fire has broken out. Fires damage section, sections and injure crew. They will spread unless the crew extinguishes them. Uh, select a crew member and hover the mouse cursor over the fire. When it turns to a bucket the water, of the water symbol, right-clicking will, right -click will send them to extinguish it. So you get that one, and you get that one. I like this tutorial so far. It's very helpful. We're out of range, but stay alert, men. Uh, click the highlight button to go out to the exploration map. Leave combat. Alright, exploration map. Escape capture. You are in great danger while you are close to the cult fortress. Leave the area quickly. This is the exploration mode. You move your ship by clicking on the area. If you prefer, you can hold down the mouse button and your ship will move towards wherever you position your mouse cursor. Oh wait, what's that? I see that. You can now uh, see the whole map by clicking on the highlight button. Alright, so obviously this is the, the immediate map area, and it's connected to other maps by uh, these gate things. If you wish to travel to a new area, you must move through the, uh, through the gate that has been highlighted at the bottom of the screen. The other gates cannot be opened yet. Return to the exploration view by clicking on the highlighted button. Let's get that thing over here first. Navigate over the gate at the bottom of the map. Use the button to view the whole map if you need to remember where it is. 20 whatever that is. I haven't taught me about currency yet. Alright, so let's just hold down the left mouse button. Alright, sailing the seas. Oh, I didn't mean to hit continue right away. <laughs> A patrolling cult ship has stumbled upon us. Man the guns, we owe them no mercy. Alright, our navigator is back up. Remember the lessons you have learned so far. Man the cannons facing the enemy. Bam. And bam. Weapons will reload if someone's manning them and the section of health is not in the red. Keep the cannons manned until reloading bar turns blue. So just killing time right now. Let's put you on this one. Now the weapons are loaded. Open fire. Left click on the weapon to select uh, on the weapon button to select it. The mouse cursor will turn to a crosshair. Move that this over the enemy ship and right click to confirm the order. Fire two barrages at the enemy vessel. So, bam. Oh, there. This is all real time. Let's not waste time here. Pausing the game by pressing the space bar. Uh, you can also press select the highlight. But, uh, pause button in the top right of the screen. Pause it. Once you dismiss the message, you can issue orders while the game is paused. Make use of, the, of this if things are spiraling out, out of control. Remember, each crewman has a specialty. A crewman assigned to their specialist role will confer bonuses. The efficiency will often mean the difference between glory and briny depths. How, hover, hover the mouse over the highlight icons in the bottom left of the screen to see their skills. So the captain, the severed one, which is me, which is good at, it, well, moderate just about everything. Solo, who's the sailor, is good at repairs. Leon, who's the gunner, is good at gunning. And the bearded zombie, who's the navigator, is good at, um... Maybe I should put him as the, the helmsman. You can hover over, hover the mouse over any objective or UI element to gain additional information via a tooltip. When the, you've issued your order, unpause the game by pressing the spacebar or left-clicking the pause button. Let me see something real quick. Okay, so I should I should sw switch the captain and the gunner out. Uh, hold on a second. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Dogs were being a little too rambunctious. All right, let's continue by unpausing the game. We want to get close to the enemy ship. Oh boy. 
the distance bar on the far left shows how far you are away. Let's pause it. Uh, you can set your target distance by clicking on the buttons. Click the click on the highlighted button to move clo to close range. The ship cannot perform maneuvers or change distances unless someone is manning the wheel. The enemy wants to keep their distance, so are moving away from you. In the top right of the screen is the enemy section health. Okay, right here. Um, we can catch up to them if we damage their mass section. Man the chain shot swivel gun and get fully loaded. Alright, so let's do that with the gunner. He has probably better accuracy. Alright, just waiting for this to reload. Keep firing, assholes! Okay, no, you, you go on here. We're manning this thing for no reason right now. Uh, the chain shot can only aim for sails, but deals high damage to them. When it's ready to fire, left-click on the weapon button to select it. Move the crosshair over the sails. When the crosshair turns white, right-click to fire. Keep your firing, keep firing your chain shot until the enemy mass section is damaged into red. Keep firing, assholes! All right, that's the mass section. It's in the orange right now. Let's get some repairs going here. Alright, their sails are gone, completely gone. Uh, damaging their mass section into the red mo uh, made it easier to catch up. Now you're close to, now you're at close distance with other swivel gun. Will be it will be in range. This is one this one is a grape shot. It's an anti-personnel weapon. Man it and get fully loaded. Alright, you go over here. Alright, that's all fixed up. Go back to gunning. Good job, everyone. Keep it up. Their ship is tiny. Alright, that's good. Left click on the Grape Shot weapon button to select it. A template will appear. Place it over as many enemy crew as possible. When you're ready, right click to confirm the firing order. Alright, so their gunner and navigator. Oh, that looked like it hurt. Alright, let's ram the enemy. You can perform special maneuvers like this when the maneuver bar is full. The maneuver bar is charged when someone is manning the helm. Someone with a high navigation skill will fi fill up the bar faster. Okay, so I'm just waiting for that to fill up. Nicely done. Alright. Anti-personnel. Oh! Uh, now that the bar is fully charged, maneuvers are avail become available. When you're ready, press the highlight button to ram. Ramming damages enemy hull. Maneuvers can only be initiated if someone is manning the ship's wheel. Alright, so... When, okay, just ram. Here we go! One moment. Certain actions like ramming cause a brace impact test. Brace for impact test. Failing the, the test may, means crew. Failing the test means crew fall to the deck, temporarily interrupting what they're doing. When a brace occurs, the highlight button will become active. Press it in time, otherwise you'll fail the test. As it's, as it's your first time, we'll let you press it, the button for now. Unpause. Kablamo! Oh Jesus, that guy went flying! <laughs> the enemy failed their brace test. The impact even caused one of their crew to be knocked overboard. They can be they can man the winch at the back of the ship to save them. If they don't make it in time, they will drown. Your winch is highlighted. If any of your crew in the are in the water, be sure to man the winch to rescue them. Now finish them off. You can pull back and keep shooting. Or at this range, you can even close, choose to board them. You can try it by killing all the enemy crew by destroying the hull or making it take on too much water. Keep the pressure on the enemy. 
dictate the battle and make the, sure they are reacting to you, not the other way around. Alright, let's back off a bit. Oh, that sucks for them. We don't have, like, a, a melee fighter, so... I don't, oh my goodness. Keep him there. That keeps them from firing at us. There we go! Great job. At the end of the battle, you are able to salvage anything of value. In this tutorial, the combat, the enemy did not react as aggressively as they would normally. Be prepared for a tougher fight next time. Grab what you can and be quick about it. More ships are on their way. Uh, 20 whatever this is. I'm guessing that's currency. It looks like a money bag with coins behind it. You don't need to worry about repairing your sections or healing your crew. That, that happens automatically when you go back to the exploration map. As long as you have water pumps, going back to the exploration mode will automatically empty your water gauge too. When you're ready, press the highlight button to return to the exploration view. Alright, so that is Abandoned Ship. I think I'm going to keep this as a three-part series for the Impressions uh, series. So, right now I'm enjoying it. The tutorial was really helpful as far as um, being able to manage your crew and some of combat. So, for now, I will see you guys next time.